Length of tangent. What do you mean by length of tangent for a circle? Because tangent is a line which extends infinitely on the left and the right. So what do we mean by length of tangent is the biggest challenge of the question. So to start with, let's take a diagram. I take a circle with center O and say I have my tangent at the point P. Say at P I have a tangent. Now suppose I have this tangent which extends infinitely on the right and left. <coughs> then the length of tangent from say a point Q to the point of contact is said to be the length of tangent. That is the length is referred as the distance of the point of contact from the desired point. So if Q is any point outside of the tangent or outside of the point of contact then we have to find the distance between Q, P and Q which is called the length of tangent. So if I have this to be clearly the radius which is perpendicular and this is say D the distance from the point to the point of contact <coughs> then clearly when I join OQ I get a right angle triangle OPQ as can be clearly seen in the diagram. Therefore length of tangent here is PQ and I take this as D units. Now since OPQ is a right angle triangle immediately the Pythagoras theorem comes into existence. Triangle OPQ is right angled that implies by Pythagoras theorem I clearly get OQ square equal to OP square plus PQ square. So by Pythagoras theorem I get OQ square equals OP square plus PQ square. <coughs> Then I take this, let me take this as L, not D. So if I take this as L and I take this as D, let's see what exactly I get by substituting in the Pythagoras theorem. So to continue with, I get OQ square, which is clearly OQ being D, reduces to D square equals so here in place of OP I have R which I am going to substitute on the right hand side as R square. Similarly my PQ which is clearly L reduces to L square is what I get when each of OQ, OP and PQ are substituted from the right angle triangle OPQ. Now to continue further because I need to find the length of tangent L which is the topic of the session therefore I take r square plus l square on the left and d square on the right so that because I need to find l my l square will be d square minus r square that implies l is plus or minus root of d square minus r square coming as the root but I don't take the negative value because length cannot be negative therefore taking the positive value l is root of d square minus r square units. So the length of tangent is given by the formula root of d square minus r square <coughs> where d is the distance from center of origin to the point outside the circle, center of circle to the point outside the circle and r is the radius of the circle. So length of tangent can be found if I can be found out if I know these two dimensions then the length of tangent is quite easy using the formula root r d squared minus r squared units.